So I heard somebody's been talking about me. Hey y'all, thanks for tuning back in Gigi Canic Up. Everybody's having a great week. Boy, do I have a doozy for you today. It has come to my attention that a huge corporation that I've made a couple videos about is showing my videos at their sales meetings when they go to their distributors. Can you guess who it is? But before we get into today's video, if you're a fan of saving time, money, and frustration while fixing your own small engine equipment while watching in-depth tutorials, you've come to the right place because that's what I do. I upload a couple times a week, and if that sounds interesting, hit that like button, smash that subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment. I love to read through the comments, and I will reply to all the early commenters. Now, I didn't plan to make any more videos about these guys, but hey, let's give them something to talk about. So even though it looks like I've got stuff laying all over the place and I'm slammed to the max, I'm actually not. I'm pretty caught up because I'm not going to mount pretty quick. All these have pretty much come in in the last couple of days. Because on average, I usually fix at least eight units a day. So what does this mean? This means I see tons of equipment through my shop. And I understand a lot of you might have experience using this distributor's product with one of your units or multiple units that you have but I see at least 800 to 1,000 two cycles every single year. So when I see patterns with a product, I'm gonna tell you about it because a lot of people are just never going to have the experience of working on multiple units to know that this is even an issue. So this brings me to, I have a ton of examples of this distributor's product in my shop right now, and I'm gonna show you what's going on, but you're, I'm not gonna tell you who it is. I want you to guess. It won't be hard. First off, I've got a customer's handheld steel blower here, and he brought it in solely for a pull rope. I did put the pull rope in it and took it outside to test it, and let's see how it runs. Now, why is it doing that? Why am I rubbing it up at getting almost a full throttle and then backing off way low on its RPMs? It's because the gas is not burning off correctly. I know this because I've already checked the air filter, I've already checked the plug, and I've already checked the spark arrestor in the muffler. Everything's fine. So something is going on with how it's burning the fuel. And I know what it is. Because what's the first thing I check whenever I work on anything? The gas. And what kind of gas is in this blower? It's light, it's pink, it's engineered canned fuel guys from the big box stores. So we're gonna get rid of this. Make sure to prime it all out of the carburetor. Put some of my gas in it. And let's see how she blows.
Wow, it runs perfect now. Need another example? Let me show you. Now the problem with this is that a lot of people commented saying I've been using it forever and it runs fine and it might be running fine, but a lot of times you don't know that your machine is not running at its full potential. I mean, realistically, that blower was still blowing pretty good, but it wasn't blowing the best. Next one on the bench is a won't start. This is like a brand new steel chainsaw, barely used MS-461. It's light, it's pink, it's engineered canned fuel guys from the big box stores. So unlike the blower that has a primer ball where I'm able to prime the fresh fuel into it and get rid of all the old canned fuel, I don't have a primer bulb on the chainsaw. So I'm just going to either have to muscle through it and get some of my gas to get into the carburetor to actually start it. Ideally, I would take the plug out, pull the cylinder, dry it out a little bit, probably change the plug and it would start a little faster, but I think I can muscle through it. off the decompression trigger because I don't like them. See what I'm talking about? I know a lot of you ask, why don't you use the decompression trigger? I just used the decompression trigger like four or five pulls. Didn't hit at all. When I took the decompression trigger off and I had the ump that it needed, it's totally popped off that first pull. That's why I don't use it. Taking it off choke, Now the chain's still spinning, which I'm gonna have to address that issue, but it actually started and the customer couldn't get it started at all on their can field. Figured out why the chain keeps spinning while it's on idle. Can you hear that? That's the needle bearing out. Last but not least, I got an oldie but goodie. I think this is a uh, steel 025. These have been around for a minute. Customer says, been sitting one year, won't start. What's inside the tank? It's light, it's pink, it's engineered canned fuel guys from the big box stores. I should have a pop off by now. Now the only thing I did notice whenever I put gas in this one is that it started seeping out of the tank vent whenever I put it back up because of the pressure that built in the gas tank. So I'm going to have to fix that, but it wasn't enough for me not to be able to run it and see if it'll start. It looked like it had already previously had a brand new plug, 
brand new air filter and had been serviced. So we'll see. Off or not. Nah, we'll keep it on choke. There it goes. Take it off. It is a steel. It's going to take a few bolts. <laughs> By now, if you've seen my past videos, you know who I'm talking about. If you haven't, a short little search and you'll find them. But I don't want to say too much, but I do have to give credit where credit's due. The units that I've seen come in here with this can fuel in it that have been sitting for a very long time and they won't start on that can fuel, all I've got to do most of the time is dump that can fuel out, put my gas in it, and they will start. So even though I don't think units really run well on it, it actually is good for storage. So guys, I can give you example after example. It's all the same. That's why I dump it every time I see it come into the shop. And they can say all they want and they can show my videos to all their distributors. You know what they say, let's give them something to talk about. Thanks again for tuning in to Chicanic. Hopefully this video will save you time, money, and frustration in the future. If you haven't found me at Facebook, find me at facebook.com slash Chicanic. Find me at Instagram at The Real Chicanic or find me at Chicanic.com where you get your own t-shirts, hoodies, and long sleeve shirts. Thanks guys and have a great day.